Hello everybody, so we have some action in Group B with Spain facing the Netherlands and getting completely humiliated in a surprising match where Spain lost 5-1. to But let's talk about the game. The game started very tactical with the two teams trying to figure out the other team but after Roman fighting very well Wesley Snyder and he has a good shot that was saved by Casillas, Spain took over the game with more possession and passing around the ball in a style of play that we are all very familiar. In minute 25 Xavi finds Diego Costa in a very nice pass and he falls in the box and the referee calls for a penalty. Once again there is a call in the World Cup that it's being very disputed and I also think that that penalty wasn't really a penalty because it's Diego Costa that steps on the Netherlands player foot. But anyway we have a penalty and Xavi Alonso converts the penalty with ease and it's 1-0 to Spain. After the goal the Dutch team tries to go up the field play more offensively with Arjen Robben being the player with more action but it's Spain once again that at minute 42 almost scores. Iniesta with an amazing pass finds David Silva that tries to chip the ball over the goalkeeper but the Dutch goalkeeper has an amazing defense and avoids the 2-0 for Spain. In the next minute, in minute 43, Blind finds himself alone in the left, makes an amazing high pass into the box, Van Persie frees himself from the defenders and heads the ball into the net with Casillas just looking at the ball. Robin Van Persie that until this point had done almost nothing in the game puts the Netherlands tied with Spain. The first half ends and no one could predict what would come in the second half. Because at minute 52 Schneider finds Blind on the left, once again makes an amazing pass to the box, Aaron Robben has an amazing first touch, dribbles away from the defender and shots and the ball goes into the net, it's 2-1 for the Netherlands. At this point the Netherlands keep pressuring on Spain and Robben has a great run, passes the ball to Yamat that has a really good pass to Robben van Persie that shoots and the ball hits the crossbar. A few minutes later we have a free kick that Wesley Schneider takes, the ball goes into the box and the free at the second time is able to put the ball into the net. The game is 3-1 for the Netherlands even though in this goal there was a foul that Van Persie committed over Casillas that the referee didn't see. In minute 67 there's a nice collective play by Spain. David Silva puts the ball into the net but he was offside and the referee called it. At minute 72 Casillas has a really infantile mistake, really bad mistake and Van Persie sees the opportunity and capitalizes his 4-1 to the Netherlands. And Spain is getting an unexpected hell of a beating. Even though it's the Netherlands, the team that is scoring, Spain keeps having a lot of possession. But it is an unproductive possession because they can't go up the field with the ball because the Netherlands defense is being really good, really tight, unlike they did in the first half. At minute 79, an amazing through pass by Wesley Snyder finds Arya Roman that runs with the ball for a few meters, frees himself from the defenders, dribbles away from the goalkeeper and scores once again. It's 5-1 to the Netherlands and the scoreboard didn't change until the end of the game because Casillas made a couple of good saves until the referee whistles for the 90 minutes. This game had two distinct parts. In the first half Spain was much better controlling the operations with players like Iniesta and David Silva being the plus players for this period. In the second half the Netherlands took over the game and the players that played best were Wesley Snyder, Van Persie that played really well in the second half, Blind with those two amazing assists from the left, really good passes into the box, but for me the man of the match was, without a doubt, Aaron Robben. He controlled the Netherlands operations in the first half and in the second half he scored two goals, he made amazing runs and really good combinations with teammates. So everybody, this was my analysis of the game Spain against the Netherlands, a really unexpected result. One of the teams that I think are favorites to win the competition I said was Spain, but now I have my doubts, but they're still a very good team and they still have two games to go. So so uh, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and my name is Bruno Ferreira, I'll see you next time.